The blame game continues in Europe over who's responsible for the high-level split over the new EU fiscal agreement. The British Prime Minister, who slapped a firm no on the deal, said it lacked sufficient financial safeguards for the UK. But EU EC President Jose Manuel Barroso says Britain itself made compromise impossible by making demands that threaten the entire single market. UK Independence Party leader Nigel Farage says British citizens will soon ask for a referendum to get out of the EU entirely. I've tried to argue over many, many years that either you're fully in the EU or you're fully out of the EU. And, and the compromise over that period of time is people have liked to believe that we can be in Europe but not run by Europe. I think that myth died in those early hours of Friday morning because we now find ourselves in a position where we're outvoted by 26 to 1, we're in a hopeless minority and yet we still have 75% of our laws that run the United Kingdom made in these institutions and in particular the industry that Cameron sought to protect, our financial services, are now more vulnerable than ever. So I think that Cameron, not wishing to do this, has now opened up the real debate in the UK about our European future and I suspect that over the coming months the calls for Britain to have a referendum on our continued membership of the Union will become very loud and very strong indeed.